30 seconds. Okay, it's been 30 seconds. Face reveal, everybody. Face reveal in three, two, one. Just kidding. <laughs> um, hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 11 11, guys. Make a wish. Make a wish. Oh, why? The capture in the top right is wrong. Oops. Uh, I'll fix that. After this, after they changed the mod view, it's like messed me up. Guys, we're editing OBS live right now. Also, my laptop is like a foot away from me, so it's hard to manipulate. Okay, that's, that's the best I'm gonna get today. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tired. But you know, I'm tired every day. It do be like that. Okay, so, today, the plan is simple, I'm Ludwig. <laughs> um, updating the follower collecting feature journal. I only got like, <laughs> like six follows during August. Not gonna lie, I fell off, I got reissued. And there's no sketch cards this month either. But you know what, that's okay, I just gotta farm more. Cause guys, it is September, so that means it is September. all new tier ones. Um, multi-month subscriptions and tier upgrades are discounted. Wow! Exclamation September in chat for more info. Also, stream elements. Oh, wait, is she back in chat? Cool. Because stream elements wasn't working earlier. Oh, there she is. She's back. Welcome back to chat, stream elements. <laughs> okay, so... Before we get started, big announcement. We have a new best clipper, VOD Watchers. Hold your horses. So, new VIP in the chat room. We didn't get many clips during the month of August. Honestly, I clipped a lot during the stream. So we only had two people eligible. Let's see. So for whoever made the best clips was Coax and Wolf. We had Wolf with four points. And Cokes with six points. Wow. So that means Cokes Oaks in the chat is our new VIP for September. And they get a gift card. So if Cokes comes in chat today, I'll chat with them. Or I'll just DM them on Twitter. Congrats. You get a gift card today, Cokes. Pog you. Um, like I said, if you're in chat later, say hi. And if not, I'll DM you on Twitter later with a gift card. Smile. What? Hi, Coax. Imagine you appear when I say your name. <laughs> but yeah, you had the most clips this month. So, do you want me to send you your gift card on Twitter or Instagram? Because I have you on both, I think. But congrats, new VIP. If you want to keep your badge, you gotta clip more this month. Wait, I am in it? I have VIP? Yeah. Wait, I think the command is there. Ooh, face reveal. Ew. <laughs> Um, yeah, because whoever makes the best clips every month gets VIP and a gift card. Smile. But congrats. Okay. Enough stalling. Let's get started. Oh, prediction two. Let's see. Let's see. Will... I'm also listening to my own music in my headphones today, and it's weird. I mean, not weird in a bad way, but I'm not listening to the cringiest game music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Okay, everybody go Gamba. Do you think I will mess up the calligraphy today? Go Gamba. Surely I won't. There's only like six to eight names. <laughs> so I won't. A mess? <laughs> Dude, it'd be so bad if I messed up. I'm gonna lower down the music a bit. Okay. I'm gonna speed run. Gamba all kappa. Do it. If you're so cocky, then do it. Hey, what color is my new fish? Four. Yeah, I got my errands done early today. I woke up at the crack of dawn that way I can stream today. So I was gonna stream yesterday, but I was hanging out with my friend all weekend, so I was exhausted on Monday. <laughs> we did a lot of walking. Well, that looks nice. Yeah, I spent all day editing, essentially. I think I edited for, like, five hours straight. Because <laughs> on my off days when I don't stream, I usually edit or draw. And, like, I saw this one post explaining for people who are, like, on the spectrum. So including, like, ADHD and ADD. Um, and people who are disabled. To try and break down your days into, like, three-hour segments. So like try to do like 8 to 11, 11 to 2, 2 to 5, etc. Because it's very hard for some people to stay focused or engaged for like a full 6 or 8 hours like the neurotypical person is. So I was like, hmm, that makes sense. Because I usually do that anyway. Like on days when I do stream it's like 11 to 2 or 3-ish and then I edit after. So I'm usually quote unquote working for about 6 hours most any day. And I was trying to explain that. I guess set up to my sister because she's on the spectrum so it's hard for her to stay engaged for like a full eight hour day so she's gonna try that three hours of work every day because she job searches every day but she does it for like two hours and it's not like working <laughs> and we finally got access to LinkedIn learning for free guys um, see if your local library will give you access to LinkedIn Learning. It kind of is sick. I don't... I don't know how much LinkedIn Learning is, like, normally, but it's probably, like, 20 bucks a month, but it's free. So talk to your local librarian about it. Because a lot of the courses on LinkedIn Learning, like, literally my college professors would assign that for, like, homework. And a lot of the curriculum is, like, college-level concepts, depending what you're learning. Because in general, whenever um, employers see, like, a gap in either your schooling or work experience, they want to see that you're, like, actively engaging in something. So whether it be, like, traveling or a hobby or, like, learning stuff on your own, it's really important. Is it a course to learn a certain skill? Um, kind of. I don't know if y'all have heard of Linda, but Linda is now LinkedIn Learning. I think they merged the companies. But how it essentially is, is it's like a, kind of like a huge forum and database of like all these different specialized courses. So like if you want to learn like Photoshop, if you want to learn about art or design, there's a whole bunch of different topics on it. Like, I had it free through my college during my whole four years there. But obviously, what, since I graduated, I lost access to it. I also lost access to my um, Adobe Creative Cloud, so now I have to pay for Photoshop and Premiere. Honestly, L. So, guys, can I get some primes today? It costs 60 bucks a month. Which, I'll be honest, isn't too bad, because if you do the 60 a month, you get access to, like, all Adobe software. But... It locks you into that plan for a year, is that- so it's either... 
for the Adobe Creative Cloud, you do like 60 bucks a month for a year, and if you drop it, you get charged like 100 bucks, or you do $80 a month, month by month, which is crazy. I do still think the subscription model is a scam. I do not like how every single company is transitioning to that model. They're scamming us. But you know what? Their profits are through the roof! <laughs> Dude, I literally just stared at where my tripod for my normal camera is. <laughs> um, but like I said, if you have access to your public library, see if they have LinkedIn Learning linked with their program. Because it's literally thousands of hours of potential free educational content. The only downside is that you get like little certificates when they're because they're like hour to 20 hour like online classes you can take. You get like a little certificate saying you completed the class, but it's not like official certification. Like you would get through like an apprenticeship or whatever. But if you put on your resume that, oh, I completed this uh, Microsoft Word course, then it kind of is something more tangible than just saying you're good at Microsoft programs. Because I remember I got Microsoft certification in like high school because I took a, it was like entry to graphic design and we had to take, it was a Microsoft Word quiz and then a Microsoft spreadsheet quiz and we got like a little paper certificate. But we, I had to pay I think $25 per test and it was only valid for two years. So obviously I'm <laughs> we graduated six years ago, so it's kind of bad. So I think the first LinkedIn learning class is going to be like the word recertification. But my sister is looking at a bunch of like art and drawing classes they have. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm intentionally riding slower today because I'm stalling. My goal is to get to an hour of time. <laughs> I'm going to stall. Ooh, that was like perfect. Holy. Okay, so yesterday I was editing the um stream ends when I get first stream that we did last week. <laughs> And bro, the edit is not even five minutes long. <laughs> I was giggling to myself the whole time I was editing. I was like, oh, this is so stupid. But like, I do wonder how uploading a shorter video to the main channel will affect my algo. Because... I don't know what YouTube is pushing right now. Like, I don't know if they want short form. I don't know if they want long form. In, like, this interview they did talking about shorts, they were saying that, um... Obviously, the reason why they're keeping shorts to a minute is to push short form content on the platform. But they said it it won't necessarily punish if, like, a normal horizontal video is long or short form. So... Because I was debating if I wanted to upload the four minute video to the Clips channel, but I was like, nah, let's see if it'll... ...boost my main channel. <laughs> Thank you, Deacon. 12 month resub? Guys, that's a year. Holy moly, no one year sub, guys. Can we get some weekends in chat? Sure. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Deacon. Does that mean you finally have a triple sunflower batch? Wait. Let's see. Oh, you do. Smile. Thank you. And with Prime, shush! Hi, <laughs> Deacon. I'm getting so many clips from my TikTok that it's like you farming reactions. <laughs> like, almost every other clip I've been posting is like just Deacon saying something. I hope you're doing well, man. Guess who decided to go back to education? Um, you? What are you studying? Because I think you said you were taking like a gap year, right?
Oh, wait, I want to ask if we have any international viewers, how much does college cost for you guys? Because here in the States, we just get fucked, okay? It's just GG's. You know, I gotta show like tens of thousands of dollars. How much does it cost internationally? I do understand that like tuition cost has got to be different if you're like an international student going to like a foreign university. But I want to know. Sociology, psychology, and history? Oh, you're gonna be one of those nerds, aren't you? <laughs> it's free for you? Honestly, fuck you, man. <laughs> Can I have my sub bag? No! No! Okay, not gonna lie, it is kind of scam. Like... Twitch will not give refunds for purchases, usually. So guys... Not saying you should regret subscribing to your favorite streamer, peace and underscore 17, but like, be careful. Like, if you accidentally gift a million subs, you, you can't get it back. <laughs> Came to lurk? No problem. This is the perfect stream to lurk in. Honestly. That's like the thing I like about doing the art streams. I I will go alive on peace and art more often, guys. I promise. I promise. But it's nice because I can kind of like zone and veg out a little bit. And I feel like I can talk to chat more individually. I, I need to go live on peace and art more. It's been like three months. But I'm kind of conflicted because, oh, today, you know how I told y'all I might be eligible for rental assistance? Turns out I am, but it's not like a priority program in the sense of it doesn't get government funding. Um, all the programs are like nonprofits run locally. So I live in a bigger city, so obviously demand for those type of resources are higher. So... It's gonna be a lot- I'm on a waiting list, essentially. Um, so, there's like a good handful of people in front of me on the wait list, so that is... I mean, I'm fine. Like, I'm not- I'm not at risk of being homeless, because obviously those resources should go to those people first. Um, so there probably won't be openings until like January or February. Yay. Anyway, I was annoyed because like I called twice last week and it's so dumb because their voicemail box was full So it's like I couldn't even talk to an agent or even leave a voicemail. So I had to go in person today And they're like, oh, yeah, it's full. It's gonna be full for a while. So I'm like, okay Because like in my head, I know there's like a little bit of like stigma or shame in getting government resources, but honestly I want to get on those lists and waiting lists. That way, if there ever is a time in which, like, let's say something happens, right? You never know. And I don't want to be in a position to where, like, I would have to vacate where I live quickly or have nowhere to go. So, I'm just trying to get, like, my foot in the door for most any resources I can get. Anyway, guys, two more, two more names and then we're done. Speed running. The only like bad thing about the disability program is that the max amount that you can save up is two thousand dollars, which is not a lot to have saved. Um, there are advocates pushing to increase that maximum limit, but. So, like, let's say there is, like, an emergency situation and I have to leave. It's like, I would only be able to have 2k. So it's like... Hmm. <laughs> you had your first day of school? You might have skipped it? Bruh. I mean, let's be honest. The first day of school, like, high school and college is just, like, pointless. I remember when I was younger, like, I would grumble at the teachers. Not, okay, not at the teachers, but, like, the idea of having like homework or assignments day one but let's be honest free education might as well like get the ball rolling on it
<laughs> Working nine to five feels so different than nine to five school. That is like a huge transition that I think both young people and older people who do return to the school environment don't get. Because for me, work is really engaging, especially like entry level service, like usually doing something the whole time. But with school, it feels like too slow almost. It's very jarring. I'd rather go back to work, I know. I mean, I am really glad that I finished out my degree. Because now I don't have to, like, worry about it. But now I gotta worry about my student loans. But, you know, it do be like that. Okay, guys, final name of the day. If I throw here, then I'm never streaming again. I'm never gonna click the live. <laughs> Yeah, I think you told me that you're able to drive now, Deacon. Pog you. <laughs> you got a new car, like a new new car? He wanted a thousand for a part that only the company made? Dude, I think car maintenance companies are the biggest scam. No cap. Or let's be honest, everything is a scam. <laughs> you look so dumb right now. Life is a scam, real. Guys, that is all the followers we had for the month of August. If you follow right now, I will write your name right now. Unless it has a bad word in it. Just cut it out. Feel free, feel free to screenshot. <laughs> Speed running arc, yeah. I mean, we only had nine. But it's because what happens, because y'all know how I'm in follow 10 minute mode, that means people have to follow for 10 minutes before they can chat. It's like, I'll have like, a good handful of people follow throughout the month, but once they see that they can't chat, they just instantly unfollow. And all I can assume is, is that it's somebody like, farming for attention. Because I usually, I can go back and see who unfollows if it's in like, my notification feed, and it doesn't get backed up or whatever. 10 minute hate waitlist? Exactly! I literally- Wait, Deacon. I literally posted a clip where I think somebody said the same thing in chat. Um. I think I titled the clip, Gotta Wait to Hate. <laughs> um. So I, I can look back. And usually the people who unfollow, or follow and then unfollow instantly, are people who are other small streamers. <gasps> yes! Drama! Or it's like rando accounts with zero followers so that I don't know if they're like bots or not so it's like I don't know and it's just funny because like some larger creators also are in 10 minute follow mode so it's like it doesn't matter I haven't been as active on social media it's been kind of kind of freeing dude if I didn't stream then I would not be on TikTok or whatever I barely even use Twitter or Instagram even now, I just use my socials to like post clips, that's it, and engage with comments, and then I go to Twitter for news, which I know is bad, but you know. Let's send the prediction. Did I mess up? No. No, sir. I'm wearing the Shrek polish. No, this is blue. Are you colorblind? <laughs> this is from the Electric collection, I think. I also trim my nails. I like them long, but then, like, I didn't... You don't realize how dirty your nails get until you, like, look at it. Okay. Guys, let's do calligraphy. More calligraphy, because no sketch cards. Um, guys, if you gift five subs, you will get a custom portrait card drawn on stream. It is September, so all new tier ones, resubscriptions... Wait, no. Multi-month resubs and upgrades are discounted, and the final week of September... 
gifted subs are discounted. So guys, huge announcement. I will be doing a subathon during that final week. And I have an even bigger announcement for that stream that I will not leak until the day of. You guys will never expect it. I did have to sign an NDA. Yes, I saw your redemption deacon. I will get right on it, sir. I don't think I've bought Hollow Taco Polish in a while, though. <laughs> I mean, I do think it's, like, worth the money, because it is, like, mid-price range. It's just, like, I have enough colors, I think, for now. But imagine they did a Shrek collection. No. They would have to, like, probably buy the rights to make Shrek content. <laughs> I can't imagine. Okay. <laughs> well, this page is so pretty. I think I'm becoming a bagel girly. Because I went grocery shopping this morning, and like right before checkout, they have the bakery section. And I always pass the cakes and the bagels, and I tell myself I'm not gonna do it. But for some reason, they had cream cheese on sale, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna become a bacon girly. Or bacon, bagel girly. And since I went early in the morning, they were like super fresh. So even by the time I go home like an hour later, like the bagels were still like super soft and warm. Oh my god, it was so good. No regrets. I tried to get like one of everything. I got four. I got a sesame, everything, cheese, and then onion. Salmon on bagels kind of eats. You mean like the... What's it called? The charcuterie board shit. I don't know what it's called. I lived in like a like a big city like you know the place that have like the kind of like independent frou frouish food bakeries or groceries just to like try it because this morning I had to go in like the main part of town so there was like a bunch of um like independent coffee shops and shit so I went to one and I had this it was a white chocolate lavender mocha iced. And I've had them before. But you know how sometimes when you get coffee from places and it tastes like burnt? It didn't taste burnt at all. It was so good. Legit the best coffee I've ever had. And I'm not like a coffee person. Obviously I can't say the name of the place. Because you know I can't leak anything. But always shop local if you can. It's... Usually, like, the same price, if not, like, a tiny bit higher than the chain places, but, you know, gotta try them out. <laughs> not the L word. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming, Cokes. <laughs> My room is in a little town, and it's pure bakery and farmer market, so it makes me feel kind of quirky. <laughs> I mean, that seems like a nice t place to retire, you know? But once again, thank you, Deacon, for the one-year resub smile. Thank you. Okay, now into channel points. Use your channel points now or write your name for free. <clears throat> Are you calling me old? Let's talk about you. Okay, shut up. Even, I think I'm like the oldest person in my little community of like viewers, but you know what? 
That just means I'm more mature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was in a Discord call with my friend yesterday and I was watching them play, um... Oh, what's it The mecha game! The one that, like, the Dark Souls people made. And... We were giggling at, like, little every single, like... Kind of, like, innuendous thing that the... The voice actors would say. <laughs> like, the voice actor would be like, A missile is coming, and we would be, like, snickering to ourselves. <laughs> like, dude, I'm so immature and I hate it. Boomer? I'm not a boomer. I'm not. Guys, I was... I'm on the cusp of being a little zoomer. I missed the cutoff briefly. make like a huge stream list because right now I have like a Google Doc of all the games I've played on stream that links to VODs and edits but just to make it easier for me I might make like a a separate Google Doc that organized like literally every single video I made I've been debating about it obviously it would take like hours to do and organize because right now I have a list of, like, edits that I have to make. And, like, edits that I've done for, like, highlight content. So I might do that today. I don't know. Oh, wait, I did the wrong number. Well, no, it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, guys, final name! Use your channel points and I'll write your name. I'm gonna do pink. Opinions. Oh, also, the best of August compilation will be posted everywhere ex tomorrow. Who's Deacon5656? It's your twin? Yeah, it's the- it's your, um, metaverse version. <laughs> metaverse? <laughs> I meant to say multiverse. <laughs> Good thing this didn't happen during Gamma. Saved. <laughs> Guys. Any other redeemers? This is this is all I've got for y'all. <laughs> I'm debating if I want to like, cause like in order for me to do gaming now, I have to end stream to get everything set up. I don't know if I want to. I'm debating. Guys, space reveal at 50 subs. Not even kidding. <laughs> it's gonna be my favorite boot. Time. Right, right, my name? Okay. I'll do maroon. I like my user a lot because I like how these are all short letters. Like, I don't have any high tail letters like a T or an L. No L's. Okay, last call. Any more stallers? You misspelled your name? Oh my god, I did! <laughs> god damn it. I welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. I cannot believe. I welcome in slowpokes. Can we get some yos, everybody? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Guys, I'm so embarrassed. This is the mistake page. Yeah. Also, pokes, you should have some free emotes that you can use in the chat. God, I cannot believe myself. 
No, this is like this happens sometimes when I like type my at or my URL for Twitch. Like I just forget the E. You know, I don't have dyslexia, but I think I might. And peace I do love. <laughs> okay, anybody else? Don't write 16? No, I hate the number 16. I never had a sweet 16. It's not pronounced anyways? Exactly. The E? Don't even need it. Okay, last call. Anybody a Redeemers? Any more Redeemers? Anybody Redeemers? Y'all have 10 seconds. Okay, guys. Oops. <laughs> I keep on mixing up my scenes. It's fine, though. I really need to leave? Then get out! They're gonna kick you out. <laughs> Bye, Deku. Thank you for hanging out today. Once again, thank you for the resub, too. A new triple sunflower badge in chat, everybody. Bye, Deku. Okay. Guys, short stream. Usually, I don't stream for this short, but I shall be live again Thursday. Today, I'm probably I gotta edit. I gotta get shit done. Cause like the way I see it, if I edit today, then I have less time or more time tomorrow. <laughs> less time, more time tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, this weekend being a holiday put all my, like, errands a day behind. Because, like, everything was closed yesterday, so I couldn't do shit. Okay. So, once again, thank you everybody who followed during the month of August. September is going to be a great month. I have a bunch of games lined up. I have a few just chatting streams planned. And I will be doing a subathon the final week of September with something very special planned. And no, I will not, like... There is no piece I two shake bargainings going on for leaking. I will not tell. So, before I go, everybody, I have a new YouTube video out. It was posted on Saturday. The YouTube channel is at Peace in Seventeen on YouTube. It is. It's okay to be single. It's the Valentine's Day stream that I almost cried in. So go watch it. Go like it. Go leave a comment. And while you're at it, go follow my offline social media. I have a Instagram, TikTok, and a Instagram, Twitter. Oh, I did say TikTok. Smile. Okay. Short stream, guys. Short stream. Um, let's see. So I should be going live Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday. We'll see. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for chatting, lurking, and hanging out. Once again, thank you, Deacon, for the resub. We heckin' love Prime subs. Okay. I'll see you guys later. No way, I was just thinking the other day. Hey, let's see. And I wanted to ask, is there not gonna be a subathon? I mean, I remember I canceled it for, um, August. Because, like, I just didn't have money for it or, like, the energy. But, the surprise? It makes me feel excited for it. You guys? We'll never figure it out. And even if somebody guesses right, I'm gonna deny. Okay, I'm gonna deny. Deny, deny. I am very excited, though. And no, it is not girlfriend reveal. My girlfriend is your guys' mother's. Also, Cox, I will DM you on. I'll DM you on Twitter with your gift card, man. And Clippers, y'all better get back to work. We need more clips. I. One of my Twitch clips, one of my featured clips, got 300 views in like. I mean, it was at like 50 views, and then overnight it gained 200. So you know what? The featured clip tab is working. It's working.
That's awesome. That's a lot of views for a clip on Twitch. Dude, I know. So I was, cause I am, <laughs> I'm so like, I like to pretend I don't care about analytics, but I kind of do. Like usually at the end of every day, cause usually when I end a stream, if I can remember like a timestamp for a funny moment, I'll go back and clip it myself. But usually at the end of any day before I go to bed, I check my daily clips. And in a day, it was the, a, a real night fights with honor, I think it's called. It gained like 200 views and I was like, holy moly. I mean, that was a good bit. I think it was a good bit. Um, that's why, like, titling clips is really good. Or it's very important. Like, whenever people title clips, you have to think about if, like, a new viewer who doesn't know who I am will enjoy it. Whenever I upload those clips to, like, YouTube, I will sometimes change the title. But usually the title you guys come up with are pretty good. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say this earlier, but I'm planning on having another painting drop this month. It's my goal. Because if you're applying for disability benefits and you have a business in your name, you cannot earn more than 1800 a month from it before you become disqualified for benefits. So, as long as I don't sell like 20 paintings a month, then I'm under that threshold. Which is not happening anyway. <laughs> so, I don't feel as hesitant to push it as much now. So I think that means during September, October, I'm gonna focus on more speed paintings again. Cause like, I need to be working on it. Everything is looking up, guys. That sucks like that they limit people in so many ways. Dude, you don't, you don't even know. It's, it's like, <laughs> extremely fucked up. Um... I've explained it before, but, like, I've, I know a bit more of, like, the actual limits now. So, every state has different minimums and maximums, but nationally, it's average. If you are on full SSDI, you cannot make more than, I think it's 1500 a month. You cannot have more than $2,000 in your savings combined with your spouse. So... And if you have a business, you cannot earn more than 1800 of income for yourself from that business every month. And you cannot work more than 80 hours collectively in a calendar month. Um, but if you're a single person, obviously the minimums are lower. So it's like... Essentially... And another fucked up thing is if you're on full SSDI, which is full disability, very hard to get approved for... Um, the maximum amount of benefits you can get a month is only 1200 or some shit. And that's if you get full coverage. So, essentially, they're forcing people who are disabled or elderly to be in poverty. And it, it's very sad. That's why you see a lot of people who are disabled, like people with like mobility scooters or walkers on public transit. Even though there is resources for those people, it's so hard to apply. Like, even today, when I went to that office, like, the lady at the desk was really rude. Because I have issues, like, processing verbal instructions sometimes. So, like, I had to ask her to repeat several times. Like, I was writing down what she was saying, because, like, sometimes I have to, like, take notes and, like, have a script ready. Because sometimes my brain just doesn't work. <laughs> but it's just, like, the whole system is, like, broken. And the only thing that will fix it is reallocation of federal funding. There, there's so much nuance to like how the funding for PSHs is determined. Um, I'm rambling. <laughs> I should end stream. <laughs> like, ultimately, I think what people should do is if you see somebody who's or if you have friends or family, I think it's a better way to say it. Like, try to offer help when you can. 
Like, be patient with them. And I think people have to come to the understanding that you have to give up a lot in order to do the government resources. So just, just be patient and kind. And also, there's a lot of invisible illness too. Like, I'm technically disabled, but I don't look disabled. I don't have a walk or a cane yet, so... I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys Thursday. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for hanging out. Short stream. <laughs> okay. Bye. I promise I'll stream hours up this month. I will. Okay. Bye.